almost done. Got to do a little more work up front here. Got to put the doors on. Got to put some corner trim so it doesn't look stupid right there. But this is the bulk of it. And I'll catch the rest in another video. Here's what we got so far. I put a bunch of these holes here so I could just spray it out later and all the water would find a, a way to leave. We got this groove sort of cut in here so our glass is going to sit right in here. We put some caulking in there that's already cured so it'll just give it a little bit of a cushion so it's not glass right on the concrete and then later we'll caulk up both sides of it. Now I'm framing this back wall this is the wall facing north, so it's not going to block any of the sun anyways. And uh, if we had windows there, it would just be looking right into the wall. So we just decided to frame it. First wall is up. To get the roof up by myself, I screwed on a temporary brace right there to lift the 2x6 up by the one end. I built three sides of the roof line on the ground, lifted it up on the temporary braces there and there, and then was able to put this brace in the middle temporarily. The rest of the roof was built out of 2x6 and pressure blocked in between every single one of these joists on both ends. Okay. This frame is for some windows that are going in the roof. I have this rubber mm -hmm. that I used finish nails and I countersunk them a little bit because I don't want the glass sitting on the wood. I don't want it sitting on the nails either. So that way it shouldn't break and it should actually put a pretty good seal on it. I will caulk it also but that will come later. On these 2x4s I just screwed some, it's a, an inch and a half by three quarter inch, little trim pieces. If I had my table saw I would have cut them, but I actually purchased these. So it goes around the whole thing, and that way we can push the glass up against there and it won't fall through the wall. It'll stop and then we'll secure it from the inside. After we put these windows into the groove in the concrete, we used a bunch of just cheap caulking around it to fill up most of the gap, and then we put uh, roofing caulking, this black roofing caulking up through the whole thing, around the whole perimeter. You can see little bits where I had the regular caulking underneath here. I guess I should have masked that a little bit better. But this is, this is just some roofing caulking. It goes over and it's kind of asphalt based. I'm not in love with it, but if maybe if you can find a regular silicone that's black if you do the same thing. Or alternatively, you could do it with white. That would look fine too. On this trim piece of the window presses against, there's just some common, I just went to Home Depot and got some common gasketing stuff for, for doors and windows and put that in there. It has an adhesive on the one side. It sticks really good, quite well. I was actually pretty impressed with it. And then you just put a little pressure on that before we screwed in the inside part to hold it in place so you have a, a watertight sill. These windows in the roof were the single most difficult part of this entire build. I did most of it basically by myself. I had the kids and my wife help me pushing some stuff under it, but I just picked up the one end, slid something underneath it, set it down, picked it up a little higher, slid something else on it, until I got it up this high, and then I put some braces in there so it wouldn't slide off of that wall into the same to the other side. Eventually I got the second side all the way up and secured and nothing slipped off or broke. So that was really fortunate because that would have sucked. <laughs> After I'd finished up installing all this roofing, I'd realized that I made a mistake on it. And that is with the placement of the screws. I set the entire thing all in the valley of this roofing material 
and it has a little gasket in it so it probably won't leak but it's a better idea to do it on the peaks of it this cable is the only thing basically for the shear strength on the roof because we couldn't do it right here because it's only glass right there and that's only a temporary support got a gap to fill on this window on, on top right there the transition between the wall and then we're done with the roof Gonna take out that brace. We're gonna have some big old vents going on this side as well as the east side. But it's making progress. For this opening window, I got this piston thing. If you just search it on Amazon, they're only about thirty dollars. They're full of beeswax. When the beeswax gets hot, it expands and pushes this piston to open the window. So that's a way of controlling the heat to a point. How I made this vent is there's just this ribbed wood material that goes, uh, it corresponds with the roofing material. And it's not very, it's not very strong, it's not very solid, it's a little flexible, so this might fail in the future, I might redo this. But for now, it works. This closes up just fine, in theory, in the cold, right now it's, it's over 100, even at night it's like 85. So it doesn't close at all, but in theory, it will when it gets cold. Thank you. 